Ooh, guess who got their hands on the new Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette? Yep, I did! So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this beautiful smoky eye on top of this flawless airbrush base using, of course, the new Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and my favorite, of course, Zainair Airbrush Makeup. So if you are interested on how to get this look, please keep watching. So to get this look, you just want to start by applying Password to the transition crease area. Now you want to blend it all the way through from the top of the outer V and then through toward the inner corner of the transition area. Then you want to go ahead and take Smolder and what I did was just dab it in a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush of course and then applied Smolder all over the lid like so. I find the Fix Plus will just go ahead and intensify this beautiful purple hue. Then you want to take Whiskey and apply that to the outer corner of the lid in almost a triangle or a V shape. And then of course taking a fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Next I'm going to be taking the shade High and applying it to the tear duct and the inner corner of my lid, of course blending up toward the transition. Then I'm going to dust it on the inner corner of the lower lash line and the brow bone as well. Next I'm going to go back with Whiskey and just apply that to the lower lash line like so. And then I'm also going to take high one more time and just dust it over Smolder just for some more added shimmer. Once my eye makeup is set, I'm going to go ahead and conceal the under eye area using Dynair's Colair Extreme. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it like so, just very lightly. Of course, when you're doing airbrush makeup under the eye area, you want to apply it very, very lightly and then build to the coverage that you need. That'll avoid creasing. Next, I'm going to be taking my contour shade, which is Nutmeg, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it all over where I usually contour my face. So um, under my cheekbones, coarse forehead, temples, and I'm going to carve out my nose and then apply it to my jawline as well. Next, I'm going to be taking my blush shade, and for this look, I used Bronze Rose just because I find that it's a little bit more intense of a blush color, and I'm just applying it like so. Next, I'm going to be doing my foundation, and here I'm just using a mixture of two shades in the Colair Radiance line. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation like I normally do for that beautiful, flawless airbrushed coverage <laughs> that I just love so much. Next, of course, is airliner, and here I'm using Jet Black and my Cat Eye and Stencil. Next, of course, I'm going to take a spoolie to my brows just to get off any excess product. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows using my Dynair Brow Stencil and, of course, a custom brow mixture of two Dynair shades as well. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup using my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray, which happens to be my favorite setting spray so far. Then I'm going to do my mascara using the Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara. I love this mascara. It's my favorite. I always reach for it. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply my Kiss Volume Lashes, and this is the finished look. Beautiful, smoky, sexy, and sultry. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!